Hello, it's Jennifer Harding Marlin from JH Marlin. Today's video is going to talk about where in the world you can go to renounce your United States citizenship. So many of our clients wish to go on and renounce their United States citizenship after they have acquired a second passport through citizenship by investment. An example of one of our clients that's gone on to renounce her United States citizenship is Heidi from Crypto Tips. So Crypto Tips is a YouTube channel that has over 200,000 subscribers, which is really impressive. And Heidi's a very inspirational, great person to know. And she does has done a couple of videos about the process of renouncing United States citizenship. So if you're interested, you may want to go and check out some of her videos on how she ended up renouncing her United States citizenship and some of the reasons behind why she wanted to renounce her United States citizenship. So this video is going to talk about the different locations in the world where some of our clients have gone and where you can go to renounce your United States citizenship. So you can renounce your United States citizenship at an embassy or consulate that does U.S. citizenship renunciation process. A lot of the times you have to book an appointment well in advance and it can be quite time consuming in preparation uh, depending on your specific situation. Um, so when you get to the place where you're going to renounce, you will need to file a bunch of paperwork, you will need to undergo an interview, you'll need to sign an oath, and you'll need to pay taxes and or requisite fees depending on your specific circumstance. And so different locations where you can go to renounce your United States citizenship, a lot of our clients go to the Bahamas, it's one of the quicker and easier options for renouncing citizenship. We've had people renounce their citizenship in Curacao, we've had people in Tunisia, Mexico, the United States. So all around the world, it's very, you would have to verify, it would have to be verified in advance where you would go to renounce your U.S. citizenship. In some countries, you actually have to be a resident of the country in order to be able to renounce your U.S. citizenship. So during COVID, a lot of, a lot of locations were closed and some people were desperately trying to find a location where they could renounce their citizenship. And so sometimes they had to become a resident of a country before they could even go on to renounce your citizenship. So every single year, we have people that wish to renounce their United States citizenship before the end of the year. And so it's really important if you're considering renouncing your U.S. citizenship that, and you need to get a second passport through citizenship by investment because you don't want to be stateless and you want to have a travel document and a citizenship going forward, then it's really important to start the process well in advance because it does take quite a few months and a quite a bit of time to be able to get a second passport through citizenship by investment. You also then have to factor in the time that it takes to get an appointment, book the appointment, physically go to the location of where you're going to renounce and go through the renunciation process. So especially if you want to <laughs> renounce your citizenship by the end of the year, always start the citizenship by investment process well in advance and do not leave it to the last minute. In fact, a lot of our clients also too, they don't necessarily want to renounce their citizenship, but they want to potentially, some people potentially want to be able to in the future. So it's better to have citizen get the citizenship now instead of waiting to the last minute and rushing to try to get it because every year there's some people that are not able to fulfill renouncing by the end of the year due to delay due, due to so many delays and so there's a multiple of citizenship by investment programs around the world like we talked a lot about on this channel um, there's Antigua and Barbuda, Dominica, Grenada, St. Lucia, St. Kitts and Nevis, Turkey, Malta which seem to be the main Citizenship by investment programs that clients tend to do, especially when they're going on to renounce their citizenship. So if you'd like to have further information, you can send me an email at jennifer at jhmarlin.com or visit our website at jhmarlin.com. All the best. Bye for now.